I'm Leon Todd for G66. Welcome to another Tuesday Tone Tip. On today's video, I want to talk about absolutely disgusting, nasty tones that you can get out of your Axe FX3, FM9 or FM3. We all know how great the Axe FX3 can sound, how detailed it is, how beautiful you can make it sound. But what about the opposite end of the guitar playing spectrum where we just purposefully lean into the filth? And I want to show you some of my go-to just grungy, disgusting sounding amp models and effect types. I want to build a preset with them. Before we get started, I have my old Strat in E flat and I've got an amp block. I've got the 1x4 Pig 57 IR, the good old Pig Nose IR, really, really versatile, punches well above its weight. I actually did a video talking about these uh, small cab IRs previously on a Tuesday tone tip, which you can check out if you want to do that. And we've got a bit of the large plate reverb, one second of reverb time, 10% mix, nothing too crazy just yet. My candidate for the ultimate filth monster when it comes to amps is the Deluxe Tweed Jumped because this thing just sounds like it is absolutely melting. Like there's something wrong with the amp and has a lot to do with the fact that this is so accurately modeled on the real world Tweed Deluxe. Think of the Neil Young song, Cinnamon Girl, if you want to hear like the ultimate Tweed Deluxe sound. So what we can do with this is just crank the tone up. I just crank up the bright drive and then you just have this disgusting, gooey, melted guitar tone. It sounds like this. And when you hit really, really hard, you can hear that the amp is just totally blocking out on that low E string. So I'm going to lean into that and we will use the Tweed Deluxe. What's kind of cool about the Tweed Deluxe is that, you know, if you use, say, the middle and the bridge pickup combo on a Strat and you clean it up, you get this. <laughs> So it's pretty sweet. It's like a kind of character edge of breakup sound. You crank your guitar volume control up and again, it just falls apart in a really glorious manner. To that, let's add, what should we add first? Let's add something totally disgusting, the octave distortion on here. I love this block uh, kind of based on an Octavia. I just like to turn the drive control up. And the real tw trick with this one is that play on the neck pickup, Turn your tone control all the way down on the neck pickup and play kind of close to the fretboard up high and you get this sound. So it very much has that Hendrix thing going on and that is very much the trick using the octave distortion in their neck pickup, tone all the way off for that really weird, almost kind of synth-like tone on there. And when you're back on the bridge pickup with everything wide open, it just sounds like a normal, if disgusting, fuzz tone on there. What we'll add to that is a ring modulator, but we're just gonna use this as kind of like a lo-fi funky octave. I've got the frequency multiplier set to 0.5 and I have the pitch tracking on. Mix is at 35% and this is just going to give me like a big old school octave sound. <laughs> I love it. Let's turn that off for now. I'm gonna add a wah block in front of all of this. What we'll do is we'll attach the envelope follower to the control parameter on the wah. Just take your wah of choice. And I've already tweaked the envelope controls a little bit. I've just turned the gain up a little bit, played around with the threshold, and I like a, an attack around 100, 120 milliseconds with a slightly faster release. When we turn this on, we've got a touch wah now. 
Which, you know, into that octave distortion, it's just making everything sound gnarlier. And that is the whole point of this particular preset. We want gnarly on top of gnarly. We can combine that with the ring mod and we get this. Very much sounding like a synth without actually being a synth at the moment. Let's just add some post effects. And I think adding one of the new flanger types in the Axe FX3 is a great way to do this. I like the Scion stereo flange. Uh, just adjust the rate to taste, but this is gonna just basically spread your entire guitar sound out across the stereo spectrum. <laughs> There are a bunch of other great new flanger effect types in there as well, but that's the one I have gravitated towards. And uh, there's a new worn tape delay type in here that can kind of get really crusty and do the self oscillation thing. Let's bring it up. I'm gonna crank the mix up to 50%. And what I will do is actually use the fact that there are two delay heads here. So I'm gonna bring up the level on head number two. I won't add any feedback to it, but I will pan this one say 50% right. And I'll pan the first head 50% left. And then I'm gonna turn the master feedback up to 200% and we'll go for about 400 milliseconds of delay. This is gonna add this crusty tape delay style wash over everything. <laughs> Also drive it into self oscillation territory by attaching a modifier to the feedback parameter if you want to do that. I'm not going to do that just yet, but what I am going to do is use all of these in context because if you've been following along, you're probably sitting there going, This sounds gross. And sometimes when you're playing lead guitar, you know, you can have the smoothest sounding distortion and perfectly placed stereo delays and reverbs, and the solo can be fine. But sometimes what's going to catch a listener's attention is something they don't expect. So something like an octave distortion top of a really disgusting, gooey, tweed deluxe style amp with tape delay that's right on that threshold of self oscillating, a stereo flanger that spreads everything out, ring mod, envelope wire, all these things. I'm gonna throw them into a quick little uh, like Hendrix style jam for you all to enjoy. I will save this preset, organize it into scenes and place it up on Axchange for anyone who wants to, tr to try it out or get inspired by the various sounds in there. You can of course use your favorite distortion or delay or amp model to taste. But my advice, and the entire kind of tip behind this Tuesday tone tip is to lean into those character tones, sounds that on their own might be a little bit off-putting or a little bit disgusting. In the mix of a band, they can be the thing that makes a particular part or something like a lead guitar line just kind of stand out from all the other things that might sound really lovely. You have this contrast of something that sounds absolutely disgusting. So a little solo for you all. Any other questions or comments, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you for another Tuesday Tone Tip next week. See you then.